Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to our Beagle Framework tutorial. Today, we'll, we will talk about the second part of our routing system, which is URI patterns. In previous video tutorial, we talked about the uh, processor function or method in the routing system. Today, we'll talk about URI. A routing, a router is made, is composed by two parts two parts. One is a URI, one is a processor function. So the root the router will based on the URI find the the based on the URI to find the function of the to find the function of the method in the controller. So in all these uh, processor functions or method you can use the router string. They will have the uh, router string patterns. They will have the same functionality, which we will talk about uh, today. So there are two types, two types of uh, URI patterns. The first one is fixed router, which is very easy, and simple. The, se the second one is a parameter router, or we call it a regex router. So, the first, uh, the simplest uh, router, which is a uh, fixed router, we can see, see an example here. So, this fixed router just registers a string fixed to, for, for this uh, function. Let's say it uh, in browser. We just type fixed. It will it will find this function, this re regest function, get function, and return the result. So this is a fixed router. So next uh, type of routers is uh, parameter routers or regex routers. So this parameter routers also will suit for all the functions on all the controller methods. And the parameter can be fetched by the context.input.parameter function. Uh, by the way, the Beagle's routing, sy routing system is inspired by Sinatra's router's routing system. So the, it, it will have the similar structure as the Sinatra's router. So the first one is we registered uh, a string as the router, which is uh, have a the colon, for, uh, the first part is the path, is the URI path. Then we have a colon ID, which is a parameter. This car this parameter can be same as here. This parameter can be a, a, a fetched by the context dot input dot parameter, uh, parameter function, with uh, name colon ID. If we go to browser, we can input an ID here. So you can see this ID the input in the in the URI will be get by this function and returned to the J, to the browser the JSON like this. <coughs> okay, this is the first one. So next one is, sim is similar to the first one. Uh, we can have a look. If we don't pass ID, we can still visit this uh, router, this parameter one router. And uh, this uh, parameter here, this ID will be treated as an uh, empty string and written. So this is the first one. So the second one, the only different part is uh, it have a explan uh, explanation mark at the end of the the parameter, and uh, because of this, if we visit this router, we cannot. Uh, if we don't pass the parameter, it will return 404. So we must pass a a parameter for this router. Then it can match. This is only different. 
So next one. So next router is uh, we will use all all parameter to match all the rest of the path, the URI path. Let's have a uh, it's same here. Let's have a look. Parameter three one. Then we can have a pass to somewhere dot html. So you can see this we get this uh, we get this part the end the rest of the URI by this uh, all parameter and the output it. So uh, it actually we have a regex uh, short card for this which is the uh, astra the star these two uh, router will have these two routers will have the same the exactly same uh, functionality and here we can use the splat to get this parameter here is uh, our testing code so you can see we use this uh, splat to get this parameter and output it so if we go to browser with this router, it has the exactly same result as the all short card. So this is the regex version. This is the short card version. But they both have the same uh, result, same functionality. So next we will talk about the uh, regex uh, li uh, limitation. The 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 regex uh, restoration. So we use the re the regex to restrict this uh, ID to let it only accept uh, digits. We can have a test here. So if we pass a digits parameter it will find this router if uh, if we pass the string let's see it cannot find and if we even if we pass them uh, like uh, slash it cannot find it only accept the digits it's a re uh, regex string to restrict it to the uh, digits so it have a short card which is colon int. If we write the root like this, it have the same, same. Uh, it will have the same result, as you can see here. You can have a test here. It accepted the int. If we input string, it doesn't support. Slash doesn't dot dot doesn't so this is the the int parameter router so next one is the uh, uh, here we use re regex to re restrict it to a uh, string so it only accept a string in this uh, parameters uh, in the parameter, it only uh, accepts a string. It can include, can contain the digit string, but not slash, not question, oh, question mark can. Oh, no, uh, uh, that uh, we can do this. Because question mark is cannot pass to the, it's not in part of the URI. So, yeah, as you can see. It's a restricted to the string, which is the uh, uh, this regex uh, by uh, it is re, uh, restricted by this re, uh, regex. So these two had the exact exactly same uh, functionality. So let's go to next one. Next one is uh, uh, it's use this extra and extra which will match two part of the uh, URI. 
sometimes then you have a file like this API dot XML this will match let's have a look let's have this test uh, this example three test of JSON you can see we can use this pass and ext these two parameters to get the first first part and the second part of this the router and pass it to pass and exist and return it so it only accept this structure if you have a two dot it cannot and if you have this of course it can uh, yes it can but it this it still can mm. looks weird okay anyway I have some I'm facing some problem here but uh, I will talk about it later let's keep uh, going to next one so next one this will match this is its match part of the the URI and it's as you can see in this example we have this uh, parameter here and uh, we actually we can have a test we can have id launch tml here you can see we get this id and it, it is restricted restricted to the digits if you string it doesn't work if you use id but at the end it doesn't match it doesn't work so it only this this structure okay so thank you guys uh, I will have look up this problem and uh, maybe edit this video later and uh, thank you guys thank, thank you for watching uh, next time we will talk about the another the last part of the routing system which is uh, namespace see you in next See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.